Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shai. Kol Haloyim, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechak with Dash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Um, and salutation, much love to you brothers out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Uh, the Spirit came on me to do this lesson that will be entitled let not your sins weigh you down and this is very very important because if you're letting your sins weigh you down that can prevent you from coming uh for, from getting into the kingdom for getting from getting salvation because you're not going to have that confidence it's very important to have confidence in your how about shimmy if you if you're constantly harping on the, the things that you've done in the past the sins that you've committed in the past no, regardless of how great they are then you won't be able to, to push forward with confidence and and confidence is is really what what gives you that faith confidence really means faith all right when you say it, con means with and fidence means faith so you're not going to be you're not going to have faith if you're letting your sins weigh you down just like this image that you see displayed on the right all right this person has has great weight on their shoulders and that's going to prevent or prevent them or give them a much more difficult time um, winning a race if they have those type of burdens on their shoulders. So I'm going to start this off at 2nd Ezra 16 and I'm going to start at 73. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 73. It says, then shall they know then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So you're not supposed to let your sins weigh you down, or your, or nor are you supposed to let your iniquities lift up themselves, man. Okay. When when you're constantly harping on your sins, it it pre, it prevent it um plagues your mind and prevents you from having confidence. All right, we need confidence in these times. We need a hundred percent faith in these times. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniqu their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns. That no man may travel through. So you you gotta you have to really, really um, examine yourself because it says woe, okay, unto those that are, are bound with their sins. You see what I'm saying? You're you're not supposed to be um, indulging in sins, nor are you supposed to be harping on the sins that you've committed. You you ask Yahweh by Shemiah Shai to forgive you, and that's that. If you really believe, if you're asking with faith and you really believe that he's forgiving you for it, then you won't be harping on it, man. You will let that go. Okay, I pray to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and that's it. That's in his hands now. You see? And you'll just keep moving forward. It's not gonna do anything for you if you're if you're constantly harping on it. It's not gonna do anything for you. Because at the end of the day, why did Yahweh Shai die on the cross? He died on the cross for the for the for the sins of the nation of Israel, but more specifically in these times, the sins of the elect, because he said, "I pray for them; I pray not for the world." Which is speaking of the elect. All right. I don't pray that you take them out of the world. That you that you um roughly paraphrasing that you um keep them from the world, like you know basically protect them. Okay, I'm roughly paraphrasing that part. So Yahusha was very concerned about the elect, and he and he guess what? He he's he's pleading the elect's cause. So you don't have to to worry about that, man. This is um Hebrews ten. I'll start at verse twelve. It says, "But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, forever sat down." On the right hand of the Most High, and that's Yahweh Shai. He offered sins. He offered sacrifice for sins forever. Okay. From henceforth, ex expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. 
for by one uh, but that proves to you that that Yahweh is, is King Solomon all right was King Solomon in, in the reincarnation <clears throat> for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified whereof the Holy Spirit also is a witness to us for after that he had he had said before this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days saith the Lord I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds will I write them and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more now where remission of these is there is no more offering for sin so we don't have to offer a a, 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 a sheep or any, a lamb or anything like that or a turtle dove or whatever for for sins now man what, what we have to do is we have to uh, pray to Yahweh Hashem and let let him take care of it because we know that we have a sincere heart in following him and we fear we fear the Lord man all right as long as we know that and we know that we're doing his 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 work okay we're contributing to 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 this work to the best of our ability as men then we, we don't have anything to worry about man without being over righteous because there's such a thing as being over righteous man what i'm saying to 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 to, to, to invest your, your time to yabashim to the best of your ability i'm not saying to go out there every single day and preach go out there every day except for the sabbath and preach you know do a video every 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 hour on the dot i'm not saying that you to do that because at the end of the day that's a weariness of flesh you see and you can destroy yourself by doing that as well but you know that you're diligent you know that you're, you're on fire for this and you know what being on fire is you know within yourself when you're on fire okay i don't i don't have to tell you what's being on fire man you should know within yourself when you're on fire man It says, having therefore, brethren, bold, having therefore, boldness, it's like it, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into holy, into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh, by a new and living way, which he hath conse consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh. All right. And having an high priest over the house of the most high let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance which means full confidence of faith um, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water so you're supposed to have your, your heart sprinkled from an evil evil conscience man okay because of what the blood of Yahweh you ain't supposed to be still um harping on the old things that, that that you did man okay let us hold fast the profession of our our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise because we know that if, if we if we um if we continue in this faith and we continue in his work that it says um he that endureth to the end the same shall be saved so we know that to be true so the, the heavenly father is faithful man okay so don't worry about all that man right and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works man so that's the point man okay we're supposed to we're supposed to be moving forward without an evil conscience man we're supposed to be moving forward without the burden of sin on our back i don't care what the sin was man okay you understand? If you didn't blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you're good. You see? And, and the scripture says all Israel will be saved. You know? So, at the end of the day, the sins that you did, the Most High's hand is not short that he, that he, can't, he can't deliver from it, man. And you don't have to tell men everything that you've done, everything that, that, that you know, whatever you've done in your life. You don't got to tell men, men everything, man. You, you, that, some of these things are really for you, between you and Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> this is 1 John. 
1 and 7. No, I'll start at 6. It says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Right? So, so that means that through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the elect are cleansed from all all sin it didn't say from some sin it said from all sin so keep that in mind whatever's in your mind man pray to the lord and, and forget just forget about that man and just don't do it don't do it again that's it you understand what i'm saying and if and if you slip again pray to the lord again sincerely don't just be doing it willfully just sincerely pray to the lord you know and and, and try to avoid doing that if it be at all possible. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. And I say that without being um without being over righteous, man. You guys and brothers have to understand that without being over righteous, man. Alright? You have to know and understand what is being over righteous. When are you doing too much? If we confess our sins, he is faithful. And just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, all unrighteousness, all wickedness, all evil that we've done. You know, don't forget when the Lord came on the scene, he was dealing with publicans, man. Publicans were wicked as hell because really <clears throat> that's that's, you know, a lot of them were, you know, were, were oppressing the, the, the poor. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's the thing where you oppress the poor. You know, taking taxes from these people, taking, you know, some of them were taking extra. That's why there's this one person <clears throat> who came to your house, who your house, I believe he went to his house and um, can't remember the name right now. He went to his house and, you know, he said, oh, Lord, um, you know, if I if I taking anything unjustly from someone you know i'll give it back fourfold because there was a lot of wickedness a lot of you know oppression of the poor going on amongst the publicans man because they were the tax collectors right so hey they can have forgiveness and, and we know how much the most high doesn't like those that oppress the poor but if they if they repent they can even they can have forgiveness if they're israelites you see if we say that we we um slack it. if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us man okay so you can't be praying to the most high and telling them to talk about you don't have no sin that's the, you're going way off man all right the most high will <laughs> You're playing a, a a very very dangerous game by saying something like that because we all we all have sinned and come short of the glory of uh, uh, of um, the heavenly Father, man. You see, you have to understand that you're not the only one. You think you're the only one that ha that that sinned? Some sometimes you jakes, <clears throat> you jakes think you're the only ones who sin, man. You ain't the only ones who sin, man. You're not the only ones who sin. Uh, I read Romans two three. I'll start up a bit, okay. Because you're not the only one who sinned. You're not the only one who, who who's done wickedness, man. Because guess what? Like I said before, anyone who's coming into this and they haven't they haven't really you know they were basically squeaky clean, right? They had a beard. They 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 were um, you know they they, they kept all the laws. <clears throat> they kept most of the laws already, right? Without even knowing. <clears throat> Someone coming into the truth like that, they're not gonna be coming in most likely with the right spirit, because 
you know, they don't have any um any sins that 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 kind of weigh them down at the beginning, right? When you come in with, with sins that are weighing you down at the beginning, as as I did, right? I came in with, with sins weighing me down at the beginning. Then guess what? That that gave me even more humility. You come into this thing with a mind state of man, I I ain't I ain't s h i t. All right. You come into you come into this truth with that mind state, man. I'm not even worthy of anything, man. You understand? You come in with that mind state. And instead of coming into the mind state with, oh, I had 85% of the truth before I came in. Oh, I, oh, 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 I wasn't doing none of that. I wasn't doing no wickedness. I wasn't into that when I was when I was even in when I was in the world. I wasn't into this when I was in the world. I wasn't into that. But what well, guess what? If you're not, if you weren't <clears throat> Salaki, if you weren't um doing no sin, then you don't need Yahweh. Okay. This is Romans 3 and 20. Therefore, uh, Salaki, let me start at uh I'll start at 20, okay? Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, unto all and upon all, them that believe for there is no difference for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the most high being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh okay so hey the elect are justified man you see the elect are justified right it speaks about those that had no guile in their guile found in their mouth because really in our spirit we we want to do the right thing we we yearn to do the right thing man when we go off we get pissed but we can't harp on that but we we yearn to do the right thing man and that's what's important man and, and you know what proves that that you really in the spirit yearn to do the right thing that you really yearn to do the right is when you do your actions Okay? Not just saying you want to do it. Your actions will prove it, man. If you're not making any effort, then guess what? Do you really, do you really, are you really um seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? Are you really trying to please Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? You have to consider that, man. <clears throat> so anyways... With that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to you. I'll shim you shy. Hopefully that was edifying. And I'll say, uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, and Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baraka Thumb to the elect.